Welcome to Magitudes. In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at how to erase in Canva. First of all, it needs to be mentioned that erasing in Canva works very differently than erasing works in other software such as Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. In these two tools, you simply have an eraser tool and then you can use it on all kinds of objects and simply erase the part of your object that you don't need. In Canva, however, at least as a Canva free user, you don't get this type of eraser tool. So the first thing that needs to be mentioned at this point is that erasing parts of your Canva designs is actually a Canva Pro feature. As a Canva free user, the only way you can actually erase certain parts of your elements would be by either trying to crop them away to do so, you can make sure that your photo or element is selected and then you can use these handles here to erase certain parts of your elements away. Now I'm obviously well aware that this can't truly be called an erase function. However, as a Canva free user, you're just really, really limited as far as erasing goes. So I thought it would make sense for me to show you at least what can be done as a Canva free user. Apart from this trick with cropping away certain elements of your designs, there is also another workaround that lets you erase certain parts of your designs. And that is by using Canva elements. However, this hack only works if your objects are on a one color background, such as is the case here in my design. In this case, to use this workaround, you could head over to elements here in the left sidebar and there you could search for circle or any other shape depending on the shape of your actual objects in your Canva project. In this case, we will stick with the circle and then I will simply drag and drop this circle into my project here. And now what I would do is I would change the color of my circle here into the same color as my background, which would be black in this case. To do so, simply click here on this color square and change it into black. And now as we have a circle in the very same color as our background, we could use this circle to erase certain parts of our object here by simply placing it at the right position and by making it smaller and bigger so that it fits your design. I could, for example, use our black circle to make this part of the grass here go away. I will just reposition my circle for that purpose. I will zoom in a little bit as well. And now I'm also duplicating this circle a couple of times. And by repositioning my circle here and duplicating it a few more times, you can make the grass here go away. However, as you're surely aware, this method is very time consuming and the results are often obviously not perfect. Still, it's a good hack to use in some cases and you're obviously not limited to using circles. In some cases, it probably makes much more sense to choose a rectangle shape here or maybe even a line shape to achieve the desired results. Now that's it as far as erasing in Canva goes as a Canva free user. Now let's talk about how erasing works for Canva Pro users. In case you would like to try out Canva Pro for 30 days, please have a look at the description of this video where you will find a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro. That said, the way erasing works as a Canva Pro user is the following. The bad news here is that even as a Canva Pro user, you don't just get an eraser tool that you could use for all purposes, such as is the case in software such as Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop. In fact, as a Canva Pro user, you can get hold of this kind of eraser tool, but only after using the background remover. Let me now just exactly show you what I mean by that. Here I have a lovely mushroom photo from Canva's Photos library. And now to remove the background, I would simply click here on Edit Image in the top toolbar and then click here on Background Remover. It's important to note that the background remover is a Canva Pro feature only. So to remove the background of this mushroom here, I would simply click here on background remover and wait for a couple of seconds. 
Once the background of this image is removed, you will then indeed see the Erase and the Restore tool appearing here. And now, as you know it from other software, you could simply click here on the Erase tool and then you can indeed erase certain parts of your mushroom by simply dragging over it. Once you're satisfied with the result, simply click on Done. So this is how the erase function works for Canva Pro users. But as I have just mentioned, this only works after using the background remover. So that really just means that you can only use the erase function after having removed the background of an image. So for example, if you take any image here out of photos, let's say this one here, and now in case you don't want to remove the background, then there is simply no way to just erase certain parts of your image, which is a pity. The background remover feature is more or less restricted to Canva's photos library. So what does that mean for Canva elements? Well, whenever you are using Canva elements, you will see that these elements, they don't really have a background. So as you can't remove the background, you will also not be able to use the erase tool because as I have mentioned before, the erase tool only appears after using the background remover. However, in some rare cases, the background remover feature is available even for Canva elements. And whenever that is the case, you will be able to find it here under edit image. So for this element here, for example, let's have a look if the background remover feature is available. You can do that by simply clicking on the element and then go into edit image. And in this case here, you can see that the background remover feature is not available because whenever it is available, you can find it here on top. However, let's drag and drop this mushroom into our project. And then again, let's go into edit image. And in this case, you will see that the background remover feature here is actually available. And after using the background remover on this element, the erase tool will become available. You will then indeed be able to erase certain parts of your graphic. And that's really it guys. This is how erasing works for Canva Pro users. And that's it. To summarize, as a Canva free user, you don't truly get an eraser tool. Whereas as a Canva Pro user, you do get an eraser tool, but only in case you can remove the background of an image first. In case the element you are using has no background, then even as a Canva Pro user, you won't be able to use the erase tool. And that's it for today's video. I wish all of you guys a very happy day. Bye.